Hello everyone and welcome back to the lab. In this video, I'll be showing the use of Abdur Aldin's drying pistol, a piece of glassware that is similar to, but has many distinct differences from, a vacuum desiccator. It is made up of two parts. The main body is shown here. Notice the inner and outer glass tube on the right. The inner tube is where the sample to be dried is placed. The outer tube is connected to the bottom and top joint. A flask is placed on the bottom joint and a condenser is placed on the top. Here is the drying chamber. It fits on the end of the other piece of glassware. Notice the ridge. This is to keep the drying agent in the chamber. It also has a stopcock to control the flow of gas out of the apparatus. The joint is rather large in order to fit a large sample into the drying chamber. I will now set up to dry something. I have placed water in the bottom flask to dry the sample at 100 Celsius. I have placed concentrated sulfuric acid in the drying chamber to act as the drying agent, and I have placed a Liebig condenser on top because water is not that volatile. You can put any liquid you like in the flask below to determine the temperature at which your sample will dry. Here, I have run a line going to my vacuum pump. The pump is then run for several minutes to ensure that most of the air is removed. The stopcock was then turned to contain the vacuum, and the sample is left to dry under heating for as long as you deem necessary. This piece of glassware is an older alternative to vacuum drying ovens. Because the sample is heated, it can be dried much faster than in a vacuum desiccator at room temperature. Its drawback is that not as large samples can be placed into the drying chamber. 